Hey everyone and welcome to this brand new episode of the Crypto Intel. My name is Mark and in this episode we're checking out the T-Fuel. This is an update episode so please be sure to hit that subscribe button just in case you want some updates regarding the T-Fuel. And yes, I have been quite bearish about the T-Fuel but if you check out some of my videos about the T-Fuel uh, you will definitely see that I'm constantly telling you guys that this is the future. The T-Fuel is something great although I want you guys to have a discount for the T-Fuel so that you can get a little bit more of the crypto asset. All right, guys, so let's dive into it. And by the way, I'm not a financial advisor, so please be sure to do your own research always, always. So let's have a look first at the reverse, uh, stop and reverses. So right here, we can clearly see uh, these are the cycles and the new cycle right here has begun. So um, sorry about that. Let me just take this thing out. All right, so you can clearly see that this cycle has ended right here. And this is why you have a brand new one coming in. So this is a bearish cycle normally, as you can see. So, uh, sorry, a bullish cycle. So you can see bull, bear, and then it's the same thing. It always cycles and reverses. This is why it's called the stop and reverse. All right, guys, so uh, definitely some good news for the T-Fuel. It looks like the price is finally going to go up. And uh, currently also we have to check out this very important thingy right here. So this is the KDG Golden Cross. And let me just see at uh, what point it is right now. Did it go into the 20? It didn't. So it crossed itself at the 50. So it's not oversold. It's not overbought. Uh, it's straight dab in the middle. Although... Uh, one very important part to check out is that we're at the end of uh, this cycle right here. So this is the moving average uh, divergence convergence um, uh, cycle. So at this point, like, let's see here, for example, when the cycle started, it went down until finally the cycle reversed until over here it uh, kind of ended. So uh, this is definitely sending out mixed signals to the traders because we also have right here the uh, sell order uh, volume. So we're looking at like approximately a, a billion, $1.2 billion uh, being sold right here. Uh, and then you got a nice little discounted purchase uh, coming in. And this was uh, at 8 p.m. Um, actually, it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> approximately five days ago. And then you got this uh, sell cycle right, right here. So you got these uh, buy cycles. Although, guys, although, uh definitely uh there is some interesting indicators let's just switch over uh, to the four hour candlestick view so we can understand a little bit more uh, what the momentum right now is about so the four hour candlesticks actually indicate that it went through this bearish and then bullish bearish bullish um it doesn't necessarily look as if uh, the bullish market is going to stop anytime soon uh, although we are looking at a price uh, agreement here, anywhere between, let me see here, let me just switch over. Um, all right, so let's check out the price agreement. So we're looking at anywhere from 41 cents uh, all the way up to approximately, guys, approximately uh, 63 cents for the unit. So definitely uh you know there is definitely a huge variation we're talking about um a variation of 48 percent guys so this is quite dangerous <laughs> you know uh definitely a dangerous moment right now uh because you can lose a lot if you are entering at the wrong time and um if we have a look at the signals right now we are definitely seeing a trend reversal um for the volume oscillator um so just you know this is a um an indicator of caution a lot of cash caution uh to uh, uh to bear and uh definitely it doesn't necessarily mean that it will fall but it just means that you just have to exercise caution because you know these cycles you can see them clearly they're going up and down and as you can see like as this cycle right here begins, it goes down until the cycle is over and then goes up. Um, straight dab in the middle. So right now it's straight dab in the middle also. Uh, so it's pretty much the same effect. Uh, so guys, uh, definitely there is uh, the opportunity 
uh, let me just uh, take out the auto right here. Okay, so uh, if it is gonna go up, guys, uh, this is what's gonna happen. It might actually get 10% in the coming uh, three days, uh, but if it reverses itself, it might actually lose. Uh, it might actually lose approximately 10%. So um, it's also a great opportunity in three days to get uh, some more data fuel if you are a big fan of the data fuel so you know there is definitely a lot of space for growth because also mainnet 3 is coming right so a lot of a lot of you guys are super super fans of it uh so you know there is definitely a few um a few scenarios to this so because it is currently trading at the average right now from uh you know this uh trading agreements right here between the traders uh, basically, this means that it can oscillate between uh, these, you know, these price points. So we're looking at like 53 cents and 63 cents in oscillation in the coming days. And we're looking at like uh, two days of oscillations. So um, this is definitely interesting. But remember, guys, look, this trend right here, <clears throat> the volume trend is currently ending. So it's beginning a new one. And once it does, let's have a look, for example, what happened right here. You see, uh, it went down just a bit in price, not too much, uh, considering the fact that the, uh, the, let's see here. Uh, okay, yeah, no, it's it's okay. Never mind, I didn't say anything. Uh, so definitely, it is looking like it's going through this support line right here. Okay, you got it. Let me just use my finger for that. There you go much better so uh it might be bouncing on and off like over here uh so this is a price range of approximately guys approximately 50 cents in the coming days if it keeps on being so bullish guys and then it might jump up to approximately uh, 63 64 so definitely a nice little price difference and uh, we're also looking at uh the possibility of uh you know getting this token at a small discount so l let me just uh, show you what i mean uh i'll just uh take for example here up until here yeah you can have like nine percent more tokens in the coming days uh if you are gonna sell and you know if you are gonna sell a bunch of uh, t fuels well you can sell like 25 percent of them uh so that you can um get approximately nine uh sorry you can use these 25 uh, percent of your uh usdt in order to gain nine percent more tether fuels so uh and then at some point when it will bounce up back onto the uh 63 cent mark well we're looking at about like you know uh in 16 hours approximately or one day you're going to be able to get a nice little gain of 20 percent uh in value so you're looking at like you know nine plus uh plus 20 you get yourself 29 uh, percent in gains guys <clears throat> so uh, by the way i'm not a financial advisor so please do your own research uh always always check out other youtube channels to have uh, other opinions uh this is rather important because that way um you have more point of views on what to do uh so if you want to talk to me on patreon if you have any urgent questions regarding you know different crypto assets that i'm not covering because i just do not have all the time to cover like 360 crypto assets on uh, exchanges like binance be sure to hit me up hit me up on patreon and that way you will also support the crypto intel channel if this type of uh, uh, technical analysis is bringing you in the green moolah guys all right so stay patient and keep it cool and uh, also, guys, if you do subscribe to this channel, please let us know I have subscribed. So just write in, I subscribed. I'm not a robot. I'm definitely curious to know uh, if you are uh, a robot or not. <laughs> and uh, who are you? Uh, I want to welcome you personally to the Crypto Intel ch uh, channel, guys. All right. So uh, until the next episode, cheers.